All right, this time we're talking SSL inspection with Cloud Web Security. So when you implement Cloud Web Security in your network, you redirect all of your internet traffic to the service. The very first thing that's gonna happen is it's gonna hit SSL inspection. So if we look down here, there's a default rule, it says, hey, we're gonna inspect all encrypted traffic that goes out to the internet. The reason for this is we want visibility into what is leaving your network. Uh, when we gain visibility, we can do CASB controls, we can do data loss prevention, we can do URL and threat filtering. We can do content filtering, so think about file type controls, and then also content inspection, which is going to be sandboxing, looking for uh, malicious payloads and detonating those safely in the cloud and preventing them from getting to your network. So with that said, not all applications respond well to SSL inspection. Um, and there's a number of reasons for that. We won't dive into them uh, too deeply, but just to let you know, there's things like certificate pinning, mutual TLS authentication. Uh, there's also non-HTTP traffic that's transported over TLS connections, so something like WebSockets, that may break the functionality of those mission-critical applications in your organization. So consider a popular messaging uh, application uh, which is Slack. So Slack is a common in a lot of organizations. Um, we use it. So it's critical that you understand how the application works. You create the appropriate bypass rules so it can continue to function in your environment. Uh, one of the best ways to do that is just consult the vendor's documentation. So if we go to the Slack Help Center, um, we're gonna see a whole bunch of information um, regarding Slack and the service. And we're going to come down to the network settings. Um, here, we can give a quick test to see whether or not Slack will function appropriately behind Cloud Web Security. Um, I launch this into a different tab, so we'll just pop over. And we can see that the WebSocket functionality is breaking. So what I mentioned earlier about uh, SSL inspection not being good for WebSockets. So if we come back here to the manage uh, Slack connection issues, if we look at the second bullet point, this is describing our problem to a T. Um, so we are running SSL decryption. Um, Cloud Web Security is a proxy. So we have to exempt the following domains. Um, so there's three of them here. I went ahead and grabbed them and just formatted them correctly for putting into Cloud Web Security. And all that is is just a comma separated list. So if we come here to create our bypass rule, we'll select the destination and we'll just copy and paste those destinations in. And we'll just aptly name this Slack so we know um, the application that we created this for. So I'm going to go ahead and hit publish. And this may take a couple minutes to propagate through Cloud Web Security. So we'll wait for that to publish and then we'll retest. Okay, now that we've given uh, Cloud Web Security, time to propagate the rule. Let's pop back over to the test connection site for Slack and we'll go ahead and hit refresh on this one and we'll see if this clears the issues that we had previously. So now we see that Slack should work as expected um, on our network when going through Cloud Web Security. And we can also verify that by coming to uh, Cloud Web Security, clicking on monitor and getting into the web logs. So with the web logs, um, what we want to do is we want to filter on traffic that is set for SSL bypass. And we can come down here by selecting that request type. Um, so this is an SSL inspection rule that we created. And here we can see uh, the three domains that I entered um, that's now bypassing SSL inspection and allowing that application to work correctly on the network. So I hope you found this video informational. And I thank you for your time.